guys welcome back so if you've been watching my videos um, I've been doing these budgeting videos for I believe two or three months now and I'm super excited to show you uh, the beginning of 2019 my January budget um, how I set it up what I'm kind of planning on some big things that you'll notice is uh, hopefully uh, I am budgeting for a doctor's bill um, that I went to in November so hopefully I'll be getting that in January uh, I will be calling them this January so it hopefully arrives um, another thing is uh, my dog which is right there I'll show you a better view not of her bottom um, in a minute but uh, she is getting a haircut she has not gotten a haircut since I've gotten her it's been two weeks and she obviously hasn't had one for a little bit and um, I'm going to try and keep up with them uh, her haircuts kind of myself and so I can extend the time um, but I do not trust myself clipping her nails or um, cleaning out her ears or anything like that so my hope is is that she can get a main haircut and then I can do any trimming and then her nails and everything will be kept up that way and so I don't know exactly how much that is going to cost um, and then I also have to get her a collar uh, to keep away flea and ticks because you just probably saw her scratching she is allergic to the pills to keep fleas and ticks away so she will be getting the collar which is what my old dog had and that I believe is around uh, $50 and um, keeps away fleas and ticks for I want to say it's six or eight months I don't remember obviously it says on the thing I want to say it's eight months so uh, definitely worth the price 100% um, so those are kind of some major things that you're going to be seeing in my budget other than that uh, it's going to be a normal budget and then I'm also thinking February is going to be a no spend month I have done one of these in the past I did not film it um, I do have it on my website kind of uh, how, what the rules are for that and how I did that um, and I'll probably record that in the setup for that but that's kind of in the future. So right now, let's take a look at my budget on every dollar. Okay guys, so we're taking a look at my January 2019 budget. So the first thing we can do is look at income. Just like last month, there's only four Fridays for January 2019, so week five will uh, remain at zero dollars. I went back to my base budget um, for this month at $450. That is the max I can make each week working 40 hours um, with taxes and everything taken out. So that is it. My roommate will be paying $380. Um, that is kind of the budget that I set because uh, that is the minimum she will pay with rent and utilities added in at a normal average rate. My parents pay six dollars for Netflix every month um, as you will see later on in my lifestyle I pay $13.99 for my Netflix every month and my parents and my brother both have profiles on my account so they pay six dollars of the account every month to help with that um, but they have already paid me they normally pay me three months at a time so they've already paid me for January um, also, kind of a new thing for January um, is my grandparents' Netflix. So for Christmas, uh, we got my grandparents a Netflix account and are paying for it for a year. Uh, they are not on as high. They only need one screen, not uh, multiple like mine account so uh, they have to go with the two screen plan so they can get HD and so it is $10.99 a month um, that is also going through my uh, I'm the one that set it up it's coming out of my PayPal every month um, and so that's the way it's getting paid for since I live in town in the same town they do it's just easier for me to handle the money in the account for them and uh, then my parents and my uncle all went in together to get this for them and so that is something that uh, they have paid 
me uh, already for the entire of 2019. So every month you will see that this has already been paid um, and then I have it in my giving column that you will see. So this has been paid for all of 2019 so I'm just splitting it out month by month. Next we will go to the giving. Um, so for gifts I have no birthdays, uh, no graduations, no weddings, no really anything that I can think of that I will need to be doing gifts for. Um, so this is at zero dollars. Some people plan ahead and start kind of allocating for Christmas, um, but I honestly don't spend so much on Christmas that I need to spend the entire year doing it. Uh, the most I would ever have to do is start at October, kind of setting aside money or buying gifts. Um, next we have church. I spend $5 every Sunday for my church. That's $25 total. Um, and then I also um, give my time in other ways. So uh, $25 in monetary and my time in other ways, but obviously this is only about money on every dollar. So $25, $5 every Sunday. And then giving again, $10.99 for my grandparents. Um, the income was the $10.99 uh, coming in from my dad and my uncle, and the $10.99 under giving is the $10.99 going out to pay Netflix every single month. So I'm keeping it under giving since it was a gift. And as you can see, it's already, again, already been charged, so that is there. Again, my emergency fund has already at the $1,000. The extra $3.22 is just the interest earned on it, which I will not be moving out of that account. I'm just going to, that account is, although easily accessible, I do not want to touch that account at all. So I try to update the interest every six months. So it's actually higher, the balance is higher than this right now. Um, because I have not updated the balance in two or three months, um, but I am leaving all interest earned on this account and just updating it about every six months. Next, let's go to housing. So my rent has gone up ten dollars um, as of January. So instead of two thirty-two, it is now two forty-two. So as you can see, I've marked that. My water at the highest point it's ever been was around $39, so I round up to $40, and then any excess will go on my debt at the end of the month. So for right now, I keep it at $40, because I cannot see it going any higher than that. My natural gas, I already know uh, what it's going to be. I, I, I believe on the 10th of January, uh, $66.26 will be coming out of my account. Same with electricity. I already know, I believe on the 12th of the month of January, that $82.24 will be coming out of my account. So I went ahead and put those in. As soon as I know um, what my bill is, I just go ahead and put it in there. Uh, my internet never changes. It was $72.49. I am looking at going to a cheaper internet that is going to be the same uh, quality, same speeds and everything. But unfortunately, the uh, company has not come out this far in the town that I live in. But they are hoping by the spring to be here. So hopefully within a few months, this bill will be going down. That is my goal. That is one bill that... Uh, I can't change, but I'm hoping to be able to in the future. Household maintenance every month is $50 unless I know something is happening. For instance, in December, you will see when I go over my budget, I had a... My roommate's key got stuck in the door, and we worked to get it out a lot, but unfortunately, the lock is what caused the key to get stuck, and there was no saving the doorknob. So the I had to get a new doorknob, which will be reimbursed to me because the way my housing is, my dad helps pay for maintenance costs, um, which basically he treats it like I'm renting the space from him. And so... Um, he pays for the maintenance costs. So that, although coming out of my budget currently, he will be paying me back for the doorknob, which I will show you in December. It is winter time, so I do not need the lawn care from my cousin. So zero dollars on lawn care. 
pet care. Again, I put $100. I'm hoping to stay under this $100. I do not believe I will need food this month. Um, I know that she will be getting a haircut, and I also know that she will need the flea and tick, as I said before. So, uh, that will be in that budget. So that is why it's at a higher rate and for I believe the next six to eight months it will only be food and any other emergency costs that are necessary. So repairs, as I said, I'm kind of still trying to figure out what repairs versus household maintenance is and I'm debating on getting rid of the repairs column because household maintenance to me is following under repairs so I will be getting rid of this column actually and all of the repairs will be going under the household maintenance. Next we have transportation. Every month I budget $200. Um, I normally spend around $150. That extra $50 in the budget is for if I do traveling to see family or if gas prices suddenly shoot up which has happened before. That is why it's at $200. Oil change, I believe I will need an oil change in the month of January, so it will be $50. Um, I know it's around 46 something, but I kind of leave an extra because just in case taxes change or the prices change a little. Maintenance, uh, $50 again. I try to leave in anything I can um, and put it off, but I also want to keep my car in good shape so I can keep it, so I put my maintenance at $50 every month. Right now, I do not believe I will be needing this, and I'm hoping that that stays true, but I'm putting $50 just as an incidental cost. Next is food. As you know, my food budget does not change. I have $50 for groceries and $50 for restaurants. Um, this worked pretty well last month, and so I'm very proud of myself with that. And so I will be keeping the $50, and um, hopefully I won't need to make any adjustments, but I can if I need to. Um, but that is my goal, $50 for both. Now we are in my lifestyle. I don't believe I'm going to be needing any clothing. Um, I do have some gift cards for Christmas, and I just want you guys to know I do not put gift cards, obviously, in my budget because it is not technically income. It was a gift to me, so my gift cards do not show. So I might be buying, if I do buy clothing, I have some gift cards, so that's the only reason I can see myself buying clothing or if something breaks. So I don't believe I'm going to need a clothing budget at all this month, um, and so it will remain at zero dollars. Miscellaneous um, is normally, it's, it's iffy if I, miscellaneous, it's normally kind of, um, anything that doesn't really necessarily fall under hair and beauty, um, and so there could be various stuff in there. I honestly can't think of anything off the top of my head, um, but that's what goes in that category. Hair and beauty, I have it for $30. I actually need to raise this because I am getting my hair done. So I'm going to put this at $100. I don't believe it's going to actually be $100, but just for the purpose of this, I can think off the top of my head that I'm getting my hair cut this month, that I'm also going to need some new shampoo and conditioner. Um, I think my makeup is okay, so uh, luckily that will be good, but um, this is a month that I think I'm going to need several hair items and um, I do still color my hair I still do cut my hair this is something that I allow myself to do um, it's normally every nine weeks so I allow myself to do this just because it's it makes me feel better uh, it helps with my stress and anxiety so uh, that's something I give myself uh, pharmacy two hundred dollars I've again um, I should rename this I'm going to rename this medical, um, and it's $200. I have this set this way because $106 and a few cents will be for the medicine that I have to get every single month. And yes, that is with my insurance paying quite a lot of it. Without it, it is over $1,000. Um, and yes, there is no generic out right now for this medicine, and I have tried going off of it several times, um, but unfortunately... It, this is one that I just have to stay on, at least for the time being. It is 
done wonders for me. Um, and then, of course, my doctor's bill. So I'm hoping $200 total will cover it. My phone bill is anywhere from $34 to $37 a month. So I will be, again, setting that $40 just to kind of cover any taxes or small fees that they may have. My Netflix never changes it. It's $13.99 every single month. My Spotify never changes. It's $9.99 every single month. I love these accounts. The reason that I still keep these, I don't have cable. I don't have anything. I love listening to music, and I can say honestly that um, driving to work for 40 minutes every single day, it's amazing having Spotify because I can ch change up my music. Um, it's ad-free, and I can download it so it doesn't use my data, which allows my phone bill to be way less because I have less than a gig on my phone. So, amazing. Um, Acorns Investments, again, I'm not doing any investing, but to remain on their account is a dollar, and I don't want to have to pay taxes on the money I've already invested by pulling it out, so I'm going to pay the dollar. And Hulu, uh, Hulu I got, uh, as my roommate is going to be moving out this year, and they had a deal for, it's 99 cents with taxes, it's one dollar and six cents. So, it is a dollar and six cents every single month. And again, that is something I'm willing to pay for. And I think I'm going to be adding another profile because you can add extra profiles with my grandma because she likes watching certain shows and they just got rid of cable. So if I create an account, I bet I can actually get her to pay that. And so that will be something that is no longer actually costing me anything at all. Lastly, my debt. So as you can see here, my loan uh, right here is $88.15. That's the minimum payment on that. So that will remain the same. And then my student loan number three. This is actually not the balance. After I pay off what I have in December, this balance will be lower. But until I know exactly down to the cent what I am paying at the end of December, I am not going to change that. So that is the total. Um, as you can see, I'm $70 over budget because I changed the hair and beauty. So let's take off that amount. And you can see that right now I have $623.82 going to my budget. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, as I said, my, I normally work overtime every week by at least uh, one or two hours. So... That will be increasing my income. Um, so hopefully, uh, I'm hoping to get this amount up again to, I'm going to say for the first month, I'm going to say 45% to 50% is my goal uh, for paying off my debt this month. And then um, I can update you where we stand after that. Insurance is my last one. I paid in November. I still need to put the other month down. I pay every six months for the car insurance. So that does not need to be that month. So there you guys go. That is my January 2019 budget as it stands right now. There's my setup. There's my goals for the month. Again, 45 to 50% is not a bad goal. Um, there is a few things that's not normally there. Uh, this is one of the months that I'm spending more with my oil change, my hair appointment, and my dog needing her flea and tick collar. Um, kind of raises the cost more than is on the average month. Uh, so I can say that not every month will be this expensive. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, if you're wondering my total income, uh, is 2196 as it stands, uh, what I know I will be getting in January. So that is my total income. Um, something to note in the future that I have been trying to kind of consider is that my roommate will be moving out. Her goal is to move out by the end of January, and I will not be having a new roommate move in. I am very picky, and because of my anxiety, finding a roommate that um, I can, number one, get along with, and number two, that um, I trust is difficult for me. Um, all the roommates that I've had in the past, I have been friends with, and I knew them before they were my roommate, and I also knew that they were responsible. So, 
that's kind of why I'm not getting a roommate. I'm no longer in college. And so if I so it's harder to meet people that don't have houses themselves or already are established because at my work, mainly um, they are people that are married with kids. There's not a lot of people that um, are established and also not a lot of people live where I live. My work is uh, 30 to 40 minutes away depending on traffic. And uh, I'm not moving because this is really cheap to live in. The house is already set up. Um, it's exactly what I need and what I like. And it's close to family, which is nice. So I'm not going to be moving. And I can't see anyone moving in with me. Now, if I do find someone uh, that fits what I need, then I would be more than willing to have them move in. Because I have an extra bathroom and bedroom. Um, but until then... Uh, no roommate and so that will be affecting my uh, income by a pretty significant amount and uh, but I'm hoping that something to help out will that my utilities will be lower since it will be just me and um, hopefully I will be selling a few things and just kind of doing a few things so that's kind of what is going on with that. Um, as of January, nothing's changed, but you will probably see those changes throughout the next few months if she finds a job to uh, move because she's not planning on staying in this area now that she has graduated. So I will see you guys next time. The next video that you will see will be going back to December um, to finalize my uh, end of December budget. So we'll be finishing up 2018 and beginning 2019. How exciting is that? Um, I've not been doing this for quite for not quite a year, I have been paying off my debt. Um, I haven't been filming them very obviously, but I have not found, I just found the every dollar budget um, and actually started following along with it within the past like five months. And then I started filming it once I kind of figured out the app. Um, so I can say that although I have been paying off my debt more than most and may be making extra payments every single month, it has been nothing like what you have been seeing. And so I'm very excited. I paid off. I will have to do some money and I'll probably do a video on it. But I want to tell you guys where I started, how much I've paid off and how much I have left. Um, I will tell you that I have under 19 or uh, under 20,000, which was my goal for 2018. Again, I wasn't very serious about it. I wasn't very, um, I wasn't very Gonzel intense. I wasn't really watching what I was eating. My grocery bill was over a hundred dollars every month. My eating out bill was over a hundred dollars every month up until a few months ago. So, um, a lot has happened. So I'm hoping this month will be even better. Um, my goal is to pay off 10,000 minimum. So uh, that was my goal for this year. Uh, I am a single person. I'm not making the highest income, but I am in a low, uh, my expenses aren't that high, or I don't believe they're that high. So that kind of does help for the area. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!